Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Duck Bricks. I'm Chris, and today the LEGO Ambassador Network has just sent me two mystery packages full of brand new LEGO sets that we'll be releasing on May 1st, 2023, that I have literally no idea what they could be. I really have been away for some time. I don't know what they have sent me, but I'm super excited to open these up and showcase these brand new sets for review. All right, so let's start off with the smallest one here, and we'll work our way up to the bigger one. So I'm gonna get this right on open here. And I really do not know what these could be. This one says, do not put on shelf before May 1st, 2023. I'm gonna assume that this one is the same way, but oh, oh, this is interesting. I don't think I've actually seen this before. Okay, so this is a new LEGO storybook set. It is from the brand new Little Mermaid live action movie that Disney is putting out, I believe in May or June. You can see that old not for sale sign there. It comes with what looks like a recolor of the Joker hair from the Lego Batman movie in white. That's really interesting to see. And this is just a nice continuation of these storybook sets. I actually do own all of the other storybook sets they've put out for all of the other movies and animated shows. I think this is one of the first times we're getting one for a live action movie other than the Peter Pan and Wendy movie one, which just came out last month. So very cool to get this. And now I think I might have a feeling I know what this set might be if they're sending Little Mermaid stuff over to me, but let's go ahead and open this up and take a look. So let me just get this package open and this is a pretty exciting one. It's actually really big. So I'm not really sure what exactly this is. I know there is a large Lego Little Mermaid set rumored at the time of recording this video. It has not been leaked yet. So I have no idea what it's gonna look like. Although I suspect that it might be that. But let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, moment of truth. Whoa! Oh, oh wow, this is really good. Okay, well, look at this. This is a brand new set. What is the set called? Is it just called The Little Mermaid? I get, uh, yeah, I guess so. I, I mean, I assume that's just the name of the set. Wow, this is really cool. So you have a massive clamshell right here with really nice building techniques. You've got some really nice curved pieces for the clam being fully open. It feels very colorful and vibrant. Okay, you got Ariel, King Triton, a couple of mermaids, and Ursula here. And, oh my goodness, no, what? <laughs> Look at this. So they have all the characters named right here. And then they actually call out Sebastian, but he's just a regular Lego crab. Like they didn't do anything special. It's like Flounder gets an, a specialized piece with printing and they're all like the specialized characters. And Sebastian is just like the regular crab. Okay, that's pretty funny. I, I, I like that. Um, I assume it's because in the trailer, he's just a normal crab because it's a live action movie. So I guess it makes sense. They do have a dedicated Sebastian mold for the other animated Little Mermaid stuff, but I guess it didn't make sense to include that for the live action movie. Altogether though, this looks like a really nice display piece. I'm really impressed with the building techniques. You have a lot of studs on the side here. The rock work is fantastic. It is reusing the King Triton headpiece that was introduced in last year's Little Mermaid sets, which are pretty cool to see that being used on a regular minifigure. Is that arm printing? Oh, that is. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so I cannot wait to build this. This looks like a really well done set. This is also very strange for Lego to do a big 18 plus style set for a new live action Disney movie. Who knows if they will keep doing stuff like this. And I'm really curious how well this set sells. I guess it will hinge on how well the movie performs, but overall very exciting, especially because I've literally never seen this set before. Now. I can't publish a video until images of this officially appear online, so by the time I actually publish this video, all of you will probably have seen the set, but I at least have not seen this yet, so it's very exciting to get a brand new LEGO set that is nothing I've seen before, and I can't wait to build and review this, and I guess both of these for all of you. And so with that, we have summed up our look at the two brand new LEGO sets that the Ambassador Network has sent me for review. Thank you so much for LEGO for sending me all of these brand new sets. Can't wait to showcase them. And thanks for tuning in to Duck Bricks. Be sure to like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming your way very soon. Thanks and bye for now.